Hi guys, Horse Trader here. Today we're going to look at exploring the market catalog results and how we can interpret those results. So first I'm going to log in as in previous videos. Then we're going to go ahead and um, define our parameters for our query. As seen in previous videos, 7 is horse racing, um, we have Australia as a country, we have a win market type. So we're looking for Australian horse races and we're looking for the win market. And this is going to be from uh, today until 24 hours from now. We're going to limit our maximum results to 5 just for this video. Although the actual maximum value you can enter is 1000. Um, just be careful, if your filtering is not uh, tight enough and the filtering allows a result of say 2000 markets, you're going to get an error saying too much data. So just be, be wary of that. We then have in-play only, we set that to false so we can show non-in-play markets. We want our language to be in English. Um, we're going to sort our results from first to start. So our zero index result will be the next event to begin. And then we're, we're going to look at the market projection. Here is runner metadata. So this is going to show us data about the runners, or in this case, the horses. So we go ahead and define those. And here we're just doing some string interpolation. Um, and entering those into our query. So this is the string we're going to be searching based on these variables or parameters. So now we're going to go ahead and post that. Okay, so we get a list of uh, markets here in market catalog. Note we're getting that from result of results. And then for a uh, initial examination, we're just going to set the first um, result from that list into first index. And note this structure now, so the first result we're getting from our uh, list of results is going to be a dictionary. For those of you who are not aware of what dictionaries are, they are pretty much key value pairs. So, for example, we'll say first index of market catalog. And now we're going to enter our key. So, market ID, for example. And that is the value. So, we have a key and a value. Note the value can take on many different data types or structures. So, for example, runners when we go to look at runners it's going to give us a list instead of say a string that we just saw so let's just go ahead and have a look at what some of these values are from these keys we'll go print market id market name so market id is what we're going to use to actually um, refer to uh, the specific race in this case. So that's what Betfair's identifier for it is going to be. Total match, so this is I'm pretty sure just a volume of money. And we're not going to print runners because it's actually going to be too much for our output. So we'll just print the length. And runners is a list, so we're going to see the length of that list. Yep, so this is the market ID. This is what Betfair is looking for when you refer to this race. Uh, this is race one, 1200 meter handicap. Total match so far, 803 in whatever currency you're um, displaying as. And then runners, so there's 10 runners in this. So if we want to go further and have a look at what's in um, this runners list, let's have a look. We'll go runners. So here we are. Selection ID will refer to that runner. Again, this is Betfair's identifier, similar to market ID, selection ID. So this is when you want to refer to this horse, star reflection, you have to use this number. Uh, let's put else we have. We have handicap, sort priority, and this is the metadata. This is what I was saying earlier. This is the information we want. Sex, day since last run. Um, what else?
else do we have? Age, form, important statistic, weight. All right, so again, this is going to be a dictionary structure now. So we are in a list, and now we want to look at the first item in that list, which will be this first runner. Yep, we're only showing results for this first one now. Now note, this is now again a dictionary. So we have a list of runners. We then select the first result of that runner. And now we have some more key value pairs we can investigate. So let's have a look what, what we're going to see from this. This is going to be everything that was just printed below. But we can do some uh, tricky things here with for loops and conditional statements. Which I'm going to cover in my next video. We're going to put together a, a dummy basic strategy based on this runner data in our next video. Now note, Mesa data will also be a dictionary. So we're not going to print that just yet. Uh, what have I done? Interesting. Oh, sorry, sorry. Wrong index here. There we go. And again, we're going to look at what kind of metadata is available to us. Alrighty, metadata. So again, key value pairs everywhere here. Jockey name, draw, etc, etc. So you're probably thinking if you're pr familiar with uh, programming, we can do some searches on these results. So let's just do a little example, go for runner in this. So this is the list of all the runners in this race. So you want to print um, go runner, runner name. So this should print every, yeah, every horse in this race. Now, for example, if we want to do a conditional search, we will do something like this. So say we want to identify a ho if a horse is in a race. We would, we can, we don't need to print this, but if runner, runner name, hold on look for this we already know the name of one of them from below here seasons and so we want to see the selection ID for it so we want to see if this horse is in this race and if it is give us its selection ID Clear this output, make it a bit more clearer. Oh, I don't want to do this. Yep, so it exists. And we'll put one that's fake just so it doesn't fake horse. Doesn't exist. So in the next video, I'm going to go over, I guess, it's just a basic strategy using this runner metadata. Um, of how we can place orders. So we're going to look through each race, say, okay, we want to bet on the best horse based on its form. In the meantime, like, subscribe, and please comment if you want me to cover any other content. Thanks, guys.